in the re-entry sequence in Gravity, we're realising something that not many people have ever got, gotten to see. And the filmmakers, Tim and Alfonso, have been very, very obsessive about and the need for things to be able to be justified through physics, which is challenging because nobody has ever seen most of these phenomena up close. In the parachute simulation, we've wanted to land on some specific shapes at specific times. We've used a manual deformer here, um, which is giving us control over the shape and the time of the opening beats, but we've then overlaid it with various noise patterns and simulations to give us the finer detail. In the early parts of re-entering the atmosphere, we see the Tiangong being torn to pieces through the oncoming wind. There's a spacecraft not designed to do that. We have a low-resolution model, which is enveloping a, a high-definition model, uh, the low-resolution model being subject to forces of the actual wind in a simulation that we've built, and then causing the high-resolution model to be torn apart. Later in the sequence, the Tiangong is struck by a piece of space debris, which causes it to break apart and tear and shred. We've built the interior detail of the spacecraft, and we've used large deformations on the large pieces of the model there have been shattering effects on the inside of the model, which of course it's broken to thousands and thousands of pieces. Throughout the re-entry sequence, the Tiangong is surrounded by layers and layers of plasma, which is again something that people haven't seen. There are reference things out there, such as the views through the inside of re-entering spacecrafts, but we've had to largely imagine what it would look like. We've used layers of simulations, particle simulations and pressure simulations that we've calculated based on the velocity of the spacecraft as it comes in to work out the points of high pressure to generate procedural volumes of geometry and particle streams, sparks, heat and ablation, up to 28 passes each of which have got multiple passes within them for, for each of these shots. Throughout the re-entry sequence, we've had to deal with not only photorealistic rendering of the spacecraft, creation of map paintings, multiple simultaneous uh, effects elements happening across multiple and fragmenting objects which are spawning other objects, each of which has got their own set of simulations layered over the top to build up the density to create the realism that we've built in the sequence.